Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Aman al -Awala. My question for you, uh, great lecture by the way. Uh, my question for you is, uh, is it compulsory to perform Hajj every year or once in a lifetime? You see, I, be, I just now gave a reference. Uh, if you went there and you found out that you still are not, you know, did right. the right way. Like so, you said about Like that. myself, I said two times I went and I did not know. Inshallah, I intend to do the third time. It is money as well, and you, as she was saying, money is not a big problem for the poor. There are many. I, I was a merchant navy man. You see, Saudi governments, you know, or, or maybe in Pakistan also, many people give money for people to go and perform Hajj. Okay. So for the for the people, she's staying there. There are so many poor. I understand there are poor people. The poor people are who are the people. We don't have to worry about about the first of all other people. There, I've taken. Uh, the ship was allowed to take 1,000 people. We took 5,000 people. Believe me, we, the, the ship. So we take 5,000 more. So people who who will go there, that's the separate issue. But if I go there and I found out two times I did not do it in the true sense, so I intend to do so. So if you intend to do so, number of times you must keep on improving, improving, and improving. And if you're not improving at all. So you can do a hundred times or one thousand times, it makes no difference. But Allah does not say you must do once. In the whole Quran, it doesn't say At least say once. No, no. It doesn't say once. It says whoever has the means to go. So it, the way of the way. So it, it, it tells us about psychological means and the material means. It's not all the and physical health also. It doesn't say only the wealth. It says you are capable of doing all these things. You are ready to sacrifice your life. So, in that aspect, if you want to go, you can do twice or thrice or number of times, right? Just, just one, one, one small question, because it was uh, kind of confusing for me. In uh, uh, Al-Isra 17, uh, when you quoted, uh, uh, and it said that after, um, uh, you, you have to go to, uh, uh, from Masjid Al-Arham, you have to go to uh, Masjid, Masjid Al-Aqsa. Al when does one need to go there? After before completion of Hajj. After, yep. because usually uh, you, people usually also go before. Uh, is you it, see, is it okay? you see why I'm saying you can go, but if you are visiting that area, Makkah and Madinah, because it's Barkat, Makkah is Barkat, that is Barkat, and these three places are Barkat. So you can go before also because it's not a part of Hajj. But not, the right practice is to go after the Hajj, okay, because please. you have to go from Masjid Al-Ram to Masjid Al-Aqsa. You are coming from Masjid Al-Aqsa to Makkah. The I say you have to go from Masjid Al-Ram to. Medina. You follow what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. So you have to go from, from the sacred, from Mecca to Medina. People go land in Medina and they come from there. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm inshallah hoping to go to this year. <laughs> and however, the, it's planned by the, by the people I'm going you with. You see why they, these people... They're taking me to Medina first. Yeah, exactly. because they have got this impression and love and affection for the Prophet because they thought the Prophet went from Medina to came to Mecca for Hajj. That's the concept behind it. So even is, if you're going there that way, it's not wrong. But what I'm saying, that is the concept. They, they go to first Medina, and from Medina they come to Mecca. As Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi according to history, they came from Mecca, Medina to Mecca. So that is why they, 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 they are saying this. But what I am referring to in Ayat is from, from the sacred mosque, you go to, to Medina to, uh, or to Aqsa Medina. That is Aqsa Medina or the, that place. That is why I'm saying you have to go from here to there. So you must land in Mecca, do all the Hajj and and from Masjid Ram to go. So it's no problem you, if the, it's a cultural thing, you can come from Medina also. Uh, thank you. Yes, please. Anybody else? Assalamu uh, alaikum. This brings our session to an end. I would like to thank you all for your attendance. We will, we will look forward f f for seeing you again. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.